Coming up next, it's a heavyweight clash between Kane Velasquez and the Reed, Alistair Overeem. So here is the perennial heavyweight contender, former K-1 World Grand Prix champion Alistair Overeem in D.C. It's sort of hard to tell. Ready? Ready? All right, so the fight is now underway on one side of the fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. Going to be interesting to see how long he can keep it up. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now, he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head, or he's going to get blasted. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Big ball punch land. Now he'll get back to range. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. That's a great punch. Does a lot of damage when you hit him in the body that clean. He's going to try to take him down. There you go. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, excellent pressure here from top position by Velasquez. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strokes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Here we go. Here we go. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. And now he falls back into the finishing position. Submission defense there. All right, full guard now, DC. And for the guy on top, he needs to build posture or just go to the next position, start shoving that knee through, trying to get the half guard, which in turn will lead to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you need to be anticipating. You need to be framing. You need to be moving, looking for opportunities to either reverse the position or get back to your feet. Velasquez is back in full mount. I mean, how many can he take? All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, he'll oh. Oh. Round two coming up next. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round. DC, a lot to like on both sides. Here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. Five minutes down, here we go. Round two, Kane Velasquez. Ready? And that man, the green, Alistair Oak. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh, tags him with the left, so the right hand has been there. Shot a double leg. Oh, crowd really enjoyed that one. What goes up must come down. Man, I mean, what would, what would that do to me? I'd be out like half a year, bro. You'd be done, John. You would not be calling fights. You would not be working anymore. Your back would be out. But the people get mad when somebody wrestles too much. They always enjoy slams like that. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. 
Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Lands the right hand. Liberty. Try to establish that jab. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Right hand punches the clinch, driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing with beautiful punch. Really got his opponent so to say. So as we call on the fight stats here, DC, 68 total strikes have now found the mark for Cain Velasquez. Well, more often than not, when the fighter has thrown, they have landed 84%. Wow. On the connect. Oh, level change. Nice trip to get the takedown. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Now he'll try to start attacking a rear naked choke from the top position. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. He takes his opponent to his side to try to get the finish. Looks like his opponent's trying to turn into the choke yeah, here, notice but there's he just a lot took of pressure. Body, trying to readjust the bar, wow. and now it looks like he's got it. All right, full guard here, DC. We'll see how soon he tries to pass. Well, he needs to be passing immediately. In the full guard is where you are in most danger as a top fighter because they have all of their submissions. Right. They have the guillotine, they have the arm bar, they have the kimuras, they have all their locks when they're in the full guard. So if you pass, you really do limit the danger that you're in from the top position. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. Now listen to me. A lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risks. What a fantastic round. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. That's a big strike right there. A little single collar tie there. Left hand punch with the clinch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Velazquez has got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. Nice double leg takedown attempt there, and you gotta think that's something that's gonna give him confidence moving forward in this fight. A lot of confidence when it happens that easily. He took a shot, he got a takedown. What now will stop him from doing it over and over again? Good work from the top here by Velazquez. All right, side control now. Oh, he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. We've seen you go to this a couple times, no? This is one of my favorite techniques. I got Vulcan Ozdemir here, and I just landed punch after punch after punch. It didn't have to be hard, but if you can land 30, 40 strikes in a row, the referee will have no choice but to finish the fight. So 93 total strikes have landed for Cardio Cain Velasquez. Well, two out of every three strikes, finding the target, landing with 67% accuracy against Alistair Over. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, big punch lands. Oh, and the ankle pick to get him down. We'll see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Two minutes now to go in this one. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hit the escape. Close guard. 
All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Arm triangle, arm triangle. And he's out. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Wow, it looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. 15 seconds to go. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Velasquez. What a 15 minutes put forth. All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest for 9-28. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Kane!